Glad to have you with us tonight. A state lawmaker is proposing a universal background check for gun sales in Utah, and he's even taking it a step further. He says it will save lives, but he's in for a big battle. Another bill has been added to the table this legislative session addressing guns. State Representative Brian King is taking aim at universal background checks. House Bill 418 requires anyone who sells or transfers a gun to include a background check as part of the transaction. When you talk to people about this and say, should this be done, the vast majority of people say, oh yeah, and it just makes sense to me. It also extends to anyone lending out a gun. He says that would have made a difference in a recent murder at the University of Utah. People say, well, will it really accomplish anything? Yeah, it would have saved Lauren McCluskey's life is what it would do, among others. King says it's about keeping guns out of the wrong hands. Representative Corey Malloy says it's not the right approach. He says it's an attempt to control guns. I just don't see a need. There's, it would just create a whole new level of complexity and costs associated with the uh, private sale of, of firearms. Malloy says there are some gun bills this session he is standing behind. Those deal with voluntary forfeiture and education. Anything we can do to save lives is always a good thing, but I don't think this is one of them. I don't, it's always really dependent on who is actually trying to cause harm. And so, you know, those are the people that we need to uh, punish, not the people who are just law-abiding citizens. King knows most of his colleagues on the Hill will take that same stand. He's calling on constituents to apply some pressure. My hope is that Utahns step up to the plate and say, this is something that we want. This is something that we need in Utah. Representative King's bill was just numbered last night and is being considered by the House Rules Committee. Representative Malloy has a resolution encouraging the state to enforce gun laws already on the books and not enact new unnecessary ones. It passed the House 5616 and is now in the Senate.